بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دس از انگلش ٹرانسلیشن آف دا مجلس آف حضرت مولانا قمر و زما صاحب دامت برکات ہم وش ٹو پلیس آن تھرز ڈے دا فورتھ آف محرم فورٹین فورٹی سکس دا انگلش ڈیٹ الیونتھ آف جولائی ٹوینٹی ٹوینٹی فور دس مجلس ٹوک پلیس ایٹ اباؤٹ الیون اے ایم ایٹ دا جامع مسجد محلہ شیخ زاد گان نانوتا سہارن پور حضرت والا استاتس آف دس مجلس by quoting and saying Wahidullah fa inna at-tawheed ra'su at-ta'at proclaim the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for verily the tawheed the ra'su uh, the, the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the essence of all ibadat without tawheed There is no obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It was not even in my furthest thoughts that there would be a jalsa like this year that I could even think about something or see something before I come here. Nevertheless, I put my trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah will inspire me and allow me to say In fact, just to say some few words, even that would be sufficient. This is such a huge, great gathering. So many people have come. Now, if we turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept du'as. Hazrat Maulana Shah Wasiullah Sahib's article or favorite topic in Mazmoon, that of Uh, du'a that of du'a and he would speak on various occasions about this he would say that there are so many people if we make du'a du'a would definitely be accepted sometimes in the majlis he would make du'a and genuinely truly after that day it would start raining the du'a was that for, of or for rain now we need to hum apne duao mein athar pedek peda karne ki koshish kare we should strive and make an effort to create some effect in the duas that we make and sincerely from our hearts we should turn to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and make dua to him a duao mukhul ibada dua is the essence of ibadat It is the core of all ibadat. I've seen many buzurgan din and specifically Hazrat Maulana Shah Wasiullah Sahib. Somebody would say something, he would come out into the open, he would make dua and it would start raining. Dua bahut badi ni'mat, bahut badi daulat. Dua is a great treasure. Ibadat ki maghz hai. It is the essence of ibadat. We should take out time to supplicate and make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In dua, we are expressing our desires in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hazrat Maulana Shah Wasiullah Sahib used to say, Dua karo. سب کچھ ٹھیک ہو جائے گا میک دو آ سپلی کے ٹرن ٹو اللہ سبحان ہو تعالی ایوری تھنگ ول کم رائٹ اد دعا او مخ العبادہ یو نو وی ٹیک آؤٹ ٹائم حضر والا از سینگ وی ٹیک آؤٹ ٹائم سم ٹائم اور دا ادر وی ٹیک آؤٹ ٹو کیری آؤٹ عبادت اینڈ ایکس آف ورشپ However, we don't take out time for dua. You know, just like that, he would be sitting in a majlis, Hazrat Maulana Shah Wasiullah Sahib, and then his gaze would fall on uh, some student, etc. Now, the people who were there with him were all ulama, but then he would turn their attention and he would say, Look, just see. how he's turning to Allah and how he's making dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That this student with so much of khushu is making dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
You know, everything can be snatched away. However, dua will remain. The dua will come out from the tongue and it will also reach the heart as well. Now, on an occasion just like this year, with so many people here, we should definitely make iltizam and be meticulous of making dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I didn't even have in my mind and in my furthest thoughts that so many people would come. People have arrived, they have come in the name of Deen and together for the sake of Deen is something great. The Deen is for who? Whose Deen is this? It is Allah's Deen. Allah will become happy. People have spoken before me also and it was very effective. So everything, there can be a closure for it, for many things. However, the doors of dua will never ever be closed. And this istijabat, the answering of those duas from the side of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also will never be closed. There are so many talibin, true seekers of the truth, Ashikin, lovers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they have all gathered. And I see from your standing, your sitting, your body language, etc., that you people have come specifically here to listen. Many places, people gather, they don't even know for what reason they have gathered. And I am, I have conviction in these places here and the people that come from this area and this part uh, uh, of the country, this part or this particular state or this area. Hazrat Maulana Shah Wasiullah Sahib used to also speak about that and he would say that these people have uh, an amazing da'iya and jazba, this enthusiasm and this thirst My coming here also, it is a great fortune for me more than anything or anyone else. So, I came nicely as well and you people have seated me also. You have welcomed me in this way. So many Muslimin have gathered and if they turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in dua, duas would be accepted. There was a very senior person and he came to Hazrat Maulana Shah Wasiullah Sahib saying that uh, this work won't be done and it is absolutely difficult for it uh, to get done. Hazrat Maulana Shah Wasiullah Sahib said to him that for you it is difficult. It's not difficult for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now when there is ahmiyat and importance in the heart to make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Hazrat Malana Shah Wasiullah Sahib used to say, this was his jumla and his uh, statement, his sentence that he would say, dua karo bhai, make dua, make dua. Now so many people have arrived and have come. Allah Ta'ala, Sahih Tawr par, Kaam Me Lagane Ki, Allah Ta'ala put us in the correct way onto the work and in the correct direction as well. Wahidullah, proclaim the oneness of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. I've come here many times in the past as well and Bayan has taken place here also. Sahih Mano Me, Allah Ta'ala humko dua karne ki tawfiq de in the true sense. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the tawfiq and hidayat of making dua. darwaza e qubooliyat e dua kabhi nahi band ho, hoga. The doors of acceptance of duas uh, will never ever be closed. And this silsila should continue of majalis and gathering I make 
Dua for everybody. Now, Hazrat Maulana Shah Wasiullah Sahib, he was a Marja'ul Hind. And he would say, Sab ke liye dua karta hu. And he was Mustajabu Dawat. In fact, even by Hazrat Tanvi, this was a, 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 a known thing about himself and his duas. Uh, Hazrat Maulana Shah Wasiullah Sahib. So, فَاللَّهُ خَيْرٌ حَافِظَوْ وَهُوَ أَرْحَمُ الرَّاحِمِينَ Make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is رَبُّ Arbab, the king of all kings. <coughs> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala looked after us when we were in the wombs of our mothers. And at that time there, when birth was given to us, we were born. And then the mothers started breastfeeding us. At the time of drinking milk, Allah Ta'ala protected us there as well. So why will Allah Ta'ala not protect us? Fallahu khayrun hafida. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala is the best of all protectors. So we have to, there has to be much ihtimam and we have to be very particular regarding dua. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all powerful and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can remove all difficulties. The Sahaba made so much of mehnat. This is the fruits of their efforts and it is the great favor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon the ummah. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to come out and he could not even make ibadat. People could not even gather. He would hide and go here and there. We're talking about the initial stages. Thereafter, Hazrat Wala quotes the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. U'budu rahman wa at'imu ta'am wa afshu salam tadkhulu al-jannata bi salam that worship Rahman, that Zat and that being who has given you a roti, he has given you food, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's generosity to us. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the tawfiq and the hidayat of making amal on the ta'limat of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Now just how the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala came raining down upon the Sahaba, similarly, if we turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can come down upon us as well. In fact, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is prepared to give us Jannah just on this. Abudur Rahman, worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one who is most kind and merciful. Wa ta'am, feed people. Wa afshu salam, make salam a common practice. Tadhulul jannata bi salam, you would enter into jannah with peace, with comfort, without any difficulty, just for that much. So, whatever it is, the silsila should continue, and that of Amr bil Maruf and Nahi anil Munkar. Imam Ghazali has mentioned that what has happened that the doors of Amr bil Maruf and Nahi anil Munkar seem to be closed, meaning people are not commanding that which is good, neither are they prohibiting that which is evil. Now, after quoting that of Imam Ghazali, has our Hazardwala is going on to say, but remember, together with that, we should adopt and choose at all times Narmi, Lutf and Karam, softness, kindness, etc. Talattuf, lean and Talattuf, these are fundamental things when it comes to Amr bil Maruf and Nahi anil Munkar. Listen, Give ta'aleem to your children. This is farzain. 
Now this ijtima and this gathering is that of mukhlisin and sincere people. Allah Ta'ala bless us with the true muhabbat and love of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. If there is true love, then ittiba asan. Then to follow and practice following the footsteps will be absolutely easy. Allahumma inni as'aluka hubbaka wa hubba may yuhibbuka wa hubba amali yukharribu ila hubbik. Oh Allah, I ask you for your love and the love of the one who loves you and the love of that amal that will bring me closer to you, to your love. So this majma is here. We should make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'm glad to see you people. Allah ta'ala fulfill all our jaiz, zaruriyat, whatever our needs are, the permissible ones. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fulfill that. Allah bless us with every type of afiyat. And Allah ta'ala bless us with external sihat and health and internal health as well. And we should, with complete humility, in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, present our needs, and from the bottom of our hearts, we should beg Him and ask for Him. And through the barakat, of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the sahaba ikiram, the awliya izam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our du'as. People have also come for nikah, etc. Those who have come here as well, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fulfill their needs also. Rabbana, <coughs> Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Mawlana Muhammad. اللهم ألف بين قلوبنا وأصلح ذات بيننا واهدنا سبل السلام ونجنا من الظلمات إلى النور وجنبنا الفواحش ما ظهر منها وما بطن وبارك لنا في أسماعنا وأبصارنا وقلوبنا وأزواجنا وذرياتنا وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم بحرمة سيد النبي الكريم صلى الله عليه he was alone.